All right, we sitting here right here live with my man Kevin Shine. Me and Kevin Shine go back, people. You know, just for individuals who don't know you, everybody in Chicago know you. You've been a um, a forerunner for this music scene. Just, I mean, not just Chicago house, not just hip hop, R and B, but just the music scene as a whole. You know, he's really been doing his thing. So, for the people around the world that don't know who you are, I think it's time that they know. So, why don't you tell them, you know, who you are, what you do, what you got going on, etc. Well, right now, um, I'm actually just, you know, got to end um, a project. I kind of strayed away from doing that, but uh, a young artist named Shorty K from this market from Chicago, who I've just got to A and R in this project and really uh, showcasing him. Since uh, this is uh, actually his project, young 18-year-old uh, artist. Um, and then other than that, I work with the Soul Selector DJs, which is a 100 DJ organization where I'm executive member of that organization. And then I'm also still doing my thing with, with my nonprofit with Medi and my education thing. I think, you know, I've been working in the industry a long time and I had to come to the realization that a lot of what I was doing was I just like helping people. So it gave me the outlet working in the music industry gave me the outlet to use my knowledge because that's how I got in. I got in through knowledge, through having good mentors and having good people in the business. I mean, whereas, you know, a lot of you, y'all had musical talents or whatever. I was just raised around music. You know, my auntie had a record store and that just kind of gave me the opportunity to jump off into it in that level. So right now, you know, mainly I just decided, you know, instead of trying to Help everybody in every other market become great. I want to help some of my people in my market become great. Now that's amazing and I think that's important because that's one of the reasons why we wanted to put something like this together is to show the camaraderie and to actually show Chicago artists and not just, you know, local per se Chicago artists but but pioneers, you know what I mean? Guys who really you know, got out there and made things happen for the scene as a whole. You know, we have some amazing people on this Chicago LP. So, you know, house music, I mean, how, how has house music influenced you, I guess, in your career and just in your upbringing, just you coming up in Chicago? Wow. I'm, I, I remember going to the new music seminars at River North. Um, I remember being a part of one of the first um, um, I guess you can say a uh, crew of people who were going to try to create a network. We was at Vince Lawrence's house. It was us. It was um, Connie. It was um, Maurice Joshua. And all of us were really trying to figure out how to bring, at that time, it wasn't no hip-hop conversations. It was house music. It wasn't no hip-hop going on in Chicago. It was the warehouse. It was the candy store. It was the shop. It was a whole bunch of places like that. And it's a part of who I am, it's a part of my background, it's part of my upbringing, it's a part of my childhood, you know what I'm saying? It's some music that we created, it's, I mean I remember watching Steve and watching Farley and them. Um, one of the greatest things about, that I like, that I always use as an example for people who are trying to break into hip hop, is that I love the fact that our DJs took it upon themselves to make the music and they shared it with us and it became ours before it became radio you know what I'm saying now it's like everybody's running the radio you know they're not even trying to ask us what we think about the music anymore I mean back then we had the music and sound when radio played we're like oh they late you know but now it's like the DJ culture is really needs to come back and I think house was in Chicago was a big part of that it was always a DJ steered music and now it just seems like every other music is not for the DJ now but we're trying to bring it back to the DJ a lot of us get into the music and we get caught up into it and we want to do it but a, a, an important lesson that hit me in my face is is that when I remember getting my first group and I, and I was getting them in the position to get a deal and all this was happening pretty much in a snowball type effect and one day somebody sat me down in a meeting and showed me how many things I didn't know about the business. And showed me how much money I blew for not just myself but for other people. And how, how I deprived them of an opportunity to live off this music and enjoy their art. 
And that really is what became the focus for me for the rest of my life. You know, as I started seeking out mentors and people who can help me um, teach people what I lacked. And um, that became my premise. I ended up teaching at Columbia College. I left there with a 70% success ratio and get students jobs and internships in the music industry. I moved on to, to adopt programs from the city. So really the whole education thing has gotten me this far. And, and it became because I made a mistake and didn't do what I was supposed to do. And I'm just trying to make sure nobody else makes those same mistakes. Right. And that, looking at you all them times, even though he didn't pass my class, but he passed in life, and that's great, you know, because he took, he didn't pass because he couldn't be there. He was always in Europe or somewhere, <laughs> graduating, doing the great, doing the, doing the work for real. So I'm proud of you to see you doing your thing. And that, of course, work, Steve is always not, you know, before a friend, he's always been another mentor just by the way he lived his life and why he, the way he's uh, guided our music and one of our pioneers. And that's true, people. I, I did pass the class. I mean, he could have he could have slid me, eh? But you know, I mean, sometimes it, it is how it is. Donald Crumley, he didn't pass me either. You know, he took me with him too. But like I said, I mean, it was a you know, it's one of them situations, man. You get an opportunity, you got to kind of weigh them out. You know, those type of opportunities come once in a lifetime, and it's you know, everybody don't get that chance to really do their thing, especially when it's something they passionate but about. But you said to me, you said, y'all remember you saying to me when you came to the class for your last times you came you said I I realize what you're telling me and you saying if I'm gonna do this and it's for me then let me just go do it and let me stop acting like I'm doing it and you went and did it so even though you didn't pass the class like I couldn't pass you because of your work right you did pass because you made a decision and you made a good one and you did go on to do it the right way so that's that that definitely is the way it's supposed to go down that's real talk man I appreciate that that mean, that mean a lot to me Kevin like on some real talk stuff so I mean just I guess in wrapping up I mean is there any shout outs anything you want to say no I mean you know I'm, I'm I live in Chicago I'm from Chicago and I'm for Chicago you know what I'm saying and there's nothing that'll change that, you know what I mean? Um, I will say this to other people. Uh, I was in New York, and a guy told me, he said, if you know what quality is and you consider yourself quality, then why don't you put it back into the place you came from? So I, all of those of you out there that's from somewhere, if you're from that place, always be from there, but always go back there and put the quality back into the place where you come from. Because if it lacks something, it lacks you. And that's all you really need to know. So we're going to do it like this. This is Kevin Shine. You know I'm doing it for the Soul Selector DJ. Chicago, you know what I'm saying. It's E-N-T. We do it real big here. You know what I'm saying. On the Chicago DVD. Kick in it live with my man Skip. With my man Steve Seal Curly, the pioneer. It's real big here. We doing it.